Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to discuss is how to detect lines in spreadsheets using macros. Now this is all going to be available to us through the use of Excel and Visual Basic for Applications VBA and of course Power Automate Desktop. Let's go. Okay, so I recently came into a situation where someone had a an existing spreadsheet. This was a spreadsheet that was uh, developed quite some time ago, providing a lot of value, a lot of time had gone into building out some macros that would go ahead and analyze data and then classify the data if it introduced like significant risk or light risk. Now when the original author of the spreadsheet who's no longer with the company built it, they built it with a like a queue that would indicate the status itself and you're going to see this in the example. So they drew a line within a column that represented the specific type of risk that did exist. And so now this other person that's now picked up the spreadsheet, they're looking to automate this specific scenario and they don't want to have to look for the line itself. The goal is that the computer or the bot is able to do that. Now a human being able to look at a line is something that's easily to interpret. For machines, that may not always be the case because you know they need some sort of data or signal in order to do that. And so the good news is because they're already using macros in this spreadsheet to begin with, all we needed to do is write another macro that would go ahead and look for the specific line characteristics itself and then output that risk value so that Power Automate Desktop could go ahead and read it. And we're gonna see when we get to the Power Automate Desktop side of things is that it's able to orchestrate all of these different activities including calling the macro itself and then being able to go ahead and read the results from that analysis. Now, the other thing is computer vision may have been able to be used here. Uh, it's just one of those things where you're, it's always a little hit and miss. And so for that reason, using the macro is something that is going to be more predictable and is something that uh, you can go ahead and leverage um, quite easily inside of your application if you go ahead and use this approach. And, and I do want to give a shout out to Pranav uh, on the team. Uh, we were discussing this, he'd recently run into a similar use case where uh, a specific customer wanted the ability to detect the color of a cell and that was accomplished through a macro. And so similarly, uh, you know, using macros to detect the line object is something that's quite possible as well, as we're going to see here shortly. Okay, so just to illustrate what I was discussing in the previous slide, I've gone ahead and essentially created a, a spreadsheet that represents the, the problem statement itself, so without exposing any sensitive data. But we've got four different columns, and we're going to have those columns have a line being introduced as part of that analysis macro that I talked about. And so what we want to be able to do is detect where that line is and then be able to grab the representative value. So here it is set in the very aggressive column. So we'd want to be able to output very aggressive uh, from that perspective. And uh, here's just the execution that is happening. And what we're going to do is we're going to have another column called result and when we go ahead and call that macro it will take the corresponding value and then output it to the specific column itself. So let's go ahead let's see a live demo and uh, we'll go from there. Okay so first let's start in Excel this was that same spreadsheet from the slide itself as stated whatever column this line is in we want to be able to detect that because that is going to represent the risk classification for the specific run. So there's a, another macro that's going to run that's going to analyze a whole series of data and that will output essentially this line. We're going to just focus on detecting the line since that's very specific business knowledge on, on that other macro. Now here what we've got is just result. I've just added a, a tab here called results. You know you could go ahead and even hide this if you want and Power Automate Desktop will still see it, um, but if you wanted to keep this away from other users. But the whole goal is after we go ahead and run this macro, this is where our value will be written, and we want to be able to retrieve that value. So if we click on Locate Line, this is gonna go ahead and call the macro that I've written, so it's basically just called 
uh, locate risk line. And when we click on that, we're gonna see it's set to aggressive. So that's great. If we move this line to say the moderate, let's go ahead and run this again. Uh, we can go ahead and see that it's now set to moderate. So how did we do this? So um, we didn't record a macro. Uh, how did we do this? We went ahead and just written, wrote a, a small macro itself. So here what I've got is just some references to a couple sheets. We've got the main sheet, uh, which contains our data. That's this one right here. Then we've got that result tab, that result sheet that I talked about before, where we want to go ahead and store our results itself. Now, where this, uh, you know, the, the sort of the secret sauce, I would call this idea the fact that we can go ahead and look for lines. A line that has been drawn is a specific object inside of Excel, which is great. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead within our document, so within the main worksheet, we are going to go ahead and retrieve all of the lines that have been drawn. And just to clarify, a line is not a border. A line is like this specific object itself. Um, so it's not going to try to detect this one or this one. Those are essentially cells that have some sort of border added to them, uh, which is, is quite different. And then so what we're going to do is for all, every line that exists, we're going to then just go ahead and check to see if that line's been drawn between column seven and column 12. And this table itself is fixed. This isn't gonna move. Uh, this is going to be very predictable and that's why we've been able to do that. So what this means, if someone draws a line somewhere else, it's going to be ignored. And then what we're gonna do here is just have a simple case statement and essentially map the column number to the, the, the category. So here, if this detects that in column eight, a line has been drawn um, and it starts in the top left cell, we know it's gonna be very aggressive. And then similarly, if we know that a line starts the top left cell in column I, which is basically row column nine, then it's gonna be aggressive and so forth. And so that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna update a cell inside of that result worksheet in order to capture our results. So that's the Excel side of things. Let's now head over into Power Automate Desktop and how we would go ahead and orchestrate this from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and launch Excel and launch our specific spreadsheet that has macros enabled. The other thing we do want to uh, turn on is by default, this is turned off. So load add-ins and macros. So naturally macros have sort of a, a somewhat of a reputation. Obviously they provide a lot of value, but they can also introduce sort of risk. You know, sometimes there's hackers trying to exploit macros in order to do bad things. And so oftentimes spreadsheets will open in like read only mode or say this has macros, do you want to enable macros? That is going to automatically take care of that for us. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and run our macro. So this is the macro that I showed you previously, the locate risk line. So this essentially is just a string. And what I'm saying is for this specific uh, spreadsheet, go ahead and run the macro defined here. And so I can just copy and paste that from Excel. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to set the active worksheet to our results because we wanna be able to read from that worksheet itself. So we're gonna go ahead just provide the name of results, which is the name of our worksheet naturally. We're gonna use the same Excel instance that we previously launched. And basically then we'll be able to read that specific value from that active worksheet. And so in this case, we're placing a result in the first row, the first column, hence us trying to retrieve a single self that starts with column one and row one. And we're gonna go ahead and store that output essentially to an Excel data variable, basically just a string. And then here we're just gonna display a message that will go ahead and display that result for us. So let's go ahead and let's give this a run. As a reminder, we currently have moderate, moderate the align drawn inside of moderate. Let's go ahead and just delete this just to make sure we don't have any uh, previous run data influencing this. And now let's go ahead and run our desktop flow process. OK, 
Okay, so there we have it. We went ahead and ran our spreadsheet. It detected that we had moderate as our risk, and then it wrote out the value. Let's just try this one more time. Let's move it over to very aggressive. Actually, I'm in the read-only version of this spreadsheet. Let me go back to the original. Okay, so now I'm back in the original one, which I can save. Let's go ahead, let's move this to very aggressive. Let's save this, and then what we're gonna do is close this so we don't end up in the read-only copy once again. Okay, now let's go ahead and run this. There we go. So as expected, now very aggressive. Now, so it's one of those things, I, you know, I, I did record this video and I was just thinking like how many people have the same scenario and maybe, maybe not a whole lot, but I think the important part here is that I did want to emphasize how macros become another tool in your toolbox. So especially if you run into a situation with the Excel and we do have a lot of the Excel actions that exist in pad, we're using some of them here naturally we're not going to have everything that's an action and so macros can be your friend and using the run excel macro action will help unlock some of those specific scenarios for you and so if there's anything to take away from this this video is is that point of just being able to lean on excel macros when you need to because there might be some very specific functions that it can help achieve so i'll leave it there but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this content and learned something new so that concludes another episode on the channel. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and look for me at Weirzy. Obviously you're on YouTube, likes, subscribes, and comments are always welcome. Go ahead and take care of that, and we'll see you again soon back on the channel. Take care, bye.